Hi everybody, welcome back to Cabin Creek Homestead. A couple days ago, when Scott started this project, actually probably a week ago, I put this a picture on Facebook and asked everybody, what do you think my husband's building for me? And that was a huge mistake because only one person was right because it was a fellow horsewoman, Miss Beverly. Um, but <laughs> uh, everybody put these ideas in the comments and I was like, oh, we should do that. Oh, we should do that. So some of the guesses were, a nativity scene, which I totally think that this would make an amazing nativity scene. Um, some other ideas were like a bus stop or a pig pen or um, a barn for llamas. I mean, so many great ideas. But in fact, it is. Sorry, it is a loafing shed. It's a walk-in or a run-in horse shelter. Winter is quickly approaching. It's very cold. We've already had nights in the 40s. Um, one night in the 30s and so um, what we're doing is providing an uh, um, alternative shelter for our horses who are pastured to come in here and get warm. We'll be adding some heat to it um, on snowy days if we get snow this year. Um, and so I just want to show you the process of building this shed. My husband is so handy and so creative. He's even using just two existing trees um, as some of the center posts for getting this thing built. So it's big enough for three horses. I'm going to get out of the way so you can see it. Look like you're doing something interesting. Um, Before we keep going, I'm gonna rewind a little bit and show you the progress it took to get us here, and then we'll continue the rest of the building project. This isn't a how-to, because honestly, we're making it up as we go, but we thought you might enjoy watching the building process. Enjoy! <music> Day two of our build. As you can see, we got a pretty good bit going on here. I'm not doing it like to spec or code or anything, just because the horses are gonna come in here and just to get out of the shade. So, I mean, out of the rain and the elements and the cold and all that. So, uh, gonna keep working.
in there.